Little Johnny was playing in the garden. When he suddenly fell on the ground, he was unable to walk and is having pain in the proximal part of the foot and ankle. His mother took him to nearby hospital where an X-ray was being performed. The X-ray findings revealed the fracture of the talus and the calcaneus bone. Well, let me clarify these things to you. Now, the talus and calcaneus, they are the two most commonly fractured bones in the foot, which comes in the category of the tarsal bones. So, I hope now you have an idea that our today's topic is the bones in the foot. We will particularly discuss the tarsal bones in detail, so stay tuned with me. The human foot basically has three parts. The forefoot, the midfoot and the hind foot. Now present among the mid and the hind foot are the tarsal bones, which are a group of seven bones that are irregular in shape, making up the ankle region. The word tarsus is associated with these bones. If you look distally, they articulate with metatarsal bones of the foot forming tarsometatarsal joint. And proximally, together with the tibia and fibula bones, form the ankle joint. Now, the tarsal bones have four surfaces. The dorsal surface, that is the top of the foot. The plantar surface, that is ground or sole surface. The lateral surface, which is towards the little toe or away from the body. And the medial surface, that is towards the body or big toe. As I've told you, the tarsal bones are seven in number. And these are the calcaneus, the talus, the navicular, the cuboid, the cuneiforms, which further are divided into three bones, the medial, the intermediate and the lateral cuneiform bone. Remember the other lecture about the corporal bones? I had told you the mnemonic to memorize the corporal bones. You can go and check out the lecture as well. So coming back, if we talk about the tarsal bones, we have a mnemonic to memorize them as well. So the mnemonic is, tiger cubs need milk. Where T stands for talus, C for calcaneus. N for the navicular, M for the medial cuneiform, I stands for the intermediate cuneiform, L for the lateral cuneiform, and in the end, C for the cuboid bone. If you recall, the carpels of your hands are arranged in two rows, the proximal one and the distal one. But as compared to the carpal bones, the tarsal are arranged in three rows, which are the proximal, intermediate, and the distal rows. Proximal row, which is present in the hind foot, it consists of the talus and the calcaneus. Then, the intermediate row contains one bone, which is the navicular. And in the end, the distal row, we have four tarsal bones, the cuboid and the three cuneiforms, namely lateral, intermediate and the medial cuneiform. Well, let us look at another mnemonic. I mean we should get all the help we need to remember these bones. The circus need more interesting little clowns. Here, T for the talus bone, C for the calcaneus, N for the navicular, M for the medial cuneiform, I stands for the intermediate cuneiform, L for the lateral cuneiform, and C for the cuboid bone. The tarsal bones help in the formation of arches of foot. There are three arches present in the foot. The medial longitudinal arch towards the side of big toe, the lateral longitudinal arch which is towards the side of little toe, and the last one is sited in the horizontal position making up the triangle, which is the transverse arch. How can you remember these? So medial longitudinal arch shown in red and the lateral longitudinal arch shown in green. Now if I tell you about the medial longitudinal arch, M stands for moving towards the body or the midline of the body. And the lateral longitudinal arch, as you can see, is 
away from the center line or it's leaving the body. The concave shape of the arches help in the protection of nerves and vessels present in the sole of the foot. The arches will act as a shock absorber, especially when you strike your foot on the ground in anger. God knows what would happen if the arches were not present in the foot. Now I will explain you about the formation of these arches in the foot. The medial longitudinal arch consists of the calcaneum, the talus, the navicular, the three cuneiform and the three metatarsal bones. They help in the formation of medial longitudinal arch. Then comes the calcaneus, the cuboid, the fourth and fifth metatarsal bones. They help in the formation of lateral longitudinal arch. Now, the basis of the metatarsal bones, the cuboid, and the three cuneiform bones help in the formation of transverse arch of the foot. Let's discuss every bone in detail in the next section.